and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our set Rain or Shine Before and Afters and its coordinating dies, so let's go ahead and check it out. This set has the sweetest rainbow with a little sun peeking out behind it. It makes me so happy. There's also a set of clouds, some raindrops for those clouds, and also some individual raindrops in a larger size and a smaller size. We also have some smiley faces that are perfect for putting in the clouds or in the sunshine and we've got two different styles of those. And then we have a stamp that helps you put little rosy cheeks on either side of those smiley faces. And then here we have some great sentiments. We have after every storm there is a rainbow, sending sunshine, I heart you, rain or shine. Next up, I'm using some Copic markers to add some color to these images. And when it comes to the rainbow, I either use one marker or sometimes I'll use two like I did here. Whatever you do, it's going to look amazing because rainbows always look incredible. Also, you guys will have to forgive me today if I sound a little bit weird. I just had some emergency dental work done today. I'm doing okay, thank goodness. But that's why it might sound a little bit strange today. So I added some light blue around the clouds and blended that out with my colorless blender to make them still look white but have a little extra something going on. And then we're adding some nice bright sunshiny yellows to that sun. Here are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're going to take those dies and line them up with our stamped images, hold it in place with some low tack tape, I'm using post-it note tape here, run it through the die cut machine and we're going to have perfectly cut out images and look how cute that little sun is. Oh my goodness, my 80s heart just loves these guys so much. Now this set works great on its own, but it was also sized perfectly to work with the Magic Picture Changer. And we actually made this card in the Intro to Magic Picture Changer video. So we're gonna link that up in the upper right hand corner and in the description below so you guys can check that out. But today we're gonna be making another style of Magic Picture Changer with this and also two cards that aren't Magic Picture Changers with this set. So we're gonna have so much fun. So let's go ahead and check out the next Magic Picture Changer card. I have two pieces of white cardstock here that are going to be the pieces for my magic picture changer. And first up, we're going to stamp out our rainbow and sunshine here. We're going to see there it's going to fit perfectly in that magic picture changer window. I'm also going to stamp a little cute little smiley face in there and we're going to use our Copic markers to add color just like we did before. Now next up I want to do some masking because I want to do some inking around it. So I'm stamping on a post-it note that's a full stick post-it note. That means the entire paper has the post-it note stickiness behind it. And we're going to trim it out with our scissors just like that. So you'll notice I've actually done this before because I've been making some other cards with this set. So once I make a mask I stick it to the back of my stamp set so that I can use it for other cards. So I trimmed out right along the black lines of that whole image and now I can stick that post-it note there to cover up my sunshine so that I can do some ink blending but make sure that my cool culprit coloring doesn't have any of that ink on it. So here I have some minty fresh ink and I have one of the Picket Fences blender brushes here and um, this is the first time I'm using one of these and I absolutely love it. So I'm picking up some ink there and then going on to the cardstock in circular motion just like you do with the foam ink blending tools building that color up. And I'm not doing anything fancy here, I'm just using one color and just building up the color all around that sunshine just to give it a nice blue sky for the background. Now that all that ink blending is done, we can do my favorite part, which is peeling up that mask and we're going to see that beautiful coloring, but we're going to have that minty fresh ink going all around it. Next up, we're going to take that viewfinder that's in the magic picture changer die there and we're going to line up that sunshine right in the center. We're going to hold that die in place with some post-it note tape, some nice low tack tape. We'll run that through the die cut machine and when we pull it out, we're going to have the main pocket piece here cut for our magic picture changer. So now we're going to repeat the same idea for the smaller moving piece. We're going to stamp our clouds and we're going to use the ink Storm Cloud, which I figured that would work. It's called Storm Cloud, so it's going to be a perfect gray. And we're going to use that to stamp the raindrops under the clouds. Then we're going to use that mask. So we did that by stamping on the full stick post-it note and trimming it out. I just stuck it to the back of my stamp set there so it was ready to go to use on lots of different cards. And I'm going to cover up those clouds to protect them from the ink. Now for my background this time, I'm going to be using the Manatee ink, which is a really nice kind of warm gray to create this stormy sky. And I'm going to be using one of those ink blending brushes again. And I'm going to start off with a cardstock in circular motion and then move on. And we're going to build up that color all around those clouds. And so this is going to give us a nice stormy sky. 
Now I've removed the mask and I'm going to add a little bit of color to those clouds. They were just a little too bright white for this stormy sky scene. So I'm taking a warm gray marker that kind of coordinates with that warm gray sky we created and just adding some little lines around the edges and also some little dots with a warm gray marker too, just to make them look like angry stormy clouds. Then we're going to take that viewfinder there in the moving piece for the magic picture changer. We're going to line that up so that the clouds and raindrops are in the center. We'll put some low tack tape there to hold it in place. We'll run it through the die cut machine and then we're going to be able to pop it out of the die and now it's ready to start forming into the magic picture changer. We're first going to work with the larger pocket piece. We're going to fold it there in the center and then we're going to fold the little tabs on the top and bottom in just like that. Those are nice skinny little tabs there and we're going to use our bone folder to make sure they're creased nice and well. And then we're going to add some eighth inch double sided tape to either side of both of those tabs. So it's going to be four pieces of tape in total on the outsides and the insides of those tabs. Then we can go ahead and peel up that liner paper and attach those tabs to the inside of the pocket piece. These are going to be the tracks that are going to keep our moving piece moving in the right direction. Next, I'm using an interactive cards secret weapon, and that is this powder tool. We're going to run it all along that tape to remove any excess stickiness, and we're also going to run it on either side of both of the pieces of the magic picture changer. This powder is going to reduce the friction between any of these pieces and help them move really, really nicely together. So we're going to take that moving piece and we're going to insert the tab into the hole of the center of the main pocket piece. Then you'll see that there's four tabs and there's four slots and so we're going to fit those right into each other. So I'm going to repeat that nice and close up here. I've got my first tabby thingy and my first slot and I'm going to fit that in. Then I've got my second tab and my second slot and we're just going to fit that in just like that. Then third tab, third slot, fourth tab, fourth slot. So nice and easy and simple. The next step is to make sure that that moving piece is exactly between those tracks. So we don't want it going on the tracks, we want it exactly between the two tracks. Then we can go ahead and peel up the liner paper on both of those adhesive pieces there. And we can fold that closed just like a book and that's going to create our whole mechanism. So we're going to fold that, press down nice and well, we can turn it over and now you can see how it's starting to move. I'm going to take my powder tool and add just a little extra powder for good measure to make sure it's going to move really nicely. And now it's time to start decorating this and putting it on a card. So here is the Magic Picture Changer add-on, and this is a decorative window cover for this thing here. And we're going to go ahead and cut that out of some mermaid cardstock. Now to attach this decorative cover, you need to put the adhesive in very special places. So I go from corner to corner, so you'll see that on all four corners, and then we're going to put adhesive on the short sides only. We don't want adhesive anywhere else because that could get in the way of the mechanism moving. So we're going all four corners and then both short sides. You'll see that the die has a little notch out of it that lines up with the tab, and we're just going to put that right over. Now here I've used that same mermaid cardstock and I've die cut it with the stitched cloudy backdrop. And I'm also going to take out the really rainbow scallops paper and I'm going to pick the yellow paper which is one of my favorite papers from this. It's just so happy and sunshiny and it goes really nicely with the whole rainbow and sunshine. And we're going to trim that down so it gives us a nice little border around the magic picture changer. Next up I have an outside in stitched rectangle. It's the largest one and we're going to run that through on that piece with the stitched clouds. So we're going to have a stitched detail around the outside and the stitched clouds which I think is super pretty. Here's a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to add some narwhal cardstock on top. Then we can attach that cool stitch cloudy backdrop piece on top of that. And then we're going to use some foam squares on the back of the magic picture changer there to attach it to the yellow piece. And the reason I like to do this is that little foam square gives a little height there and it's a little bit easier to pull that tab in and out when you have some foam squares behind the magic picture changer. We're going to use that same outside in stitch rectangle that we used on the cloudy piece and cut some cilantro cardstock with it so that those pieces coordinate with each other. And then we're going to go ahead and line up the grassy border there. So you see I'm kind of playing around seeing what's going to look nice. We'll hold that in place with some low tack tape and then we can run it through the die cut machine. And now we have some grass and it has the same stitch border as those clouds so it's going to line up really nicely. Then we'll attach our magic picture changer piece into the center of the card and then we're going to add some foam squares to the bottom part of the grass and then layer that right on top there. So everything's going to be nice and flush with each other and I love how the magic picture changer is now being incorporated into the scene. 
Here we have some of my favorite stamp sets. We have the Happy Village, Elfie Selfie, Wild For You, and Butterfly Kisses. And so I went ahead and stamped and colored a bunch of images from this set. And I love combining lots of different stamp sets together. So we're going to start layering all of these images onto the card with foam squares sometimes and sometimes with just tape runner. And today I'm recreating a card by Megan. So thank you so much, Megan, for letting us recreate your gorgeous card for the video today. So there you can see how cute those little umbrellas look. And I colored them in rainbow order to go along with the rainbow that's on the card. Now you'll notice that I didn't put the tab yet onto the Magic Picture Changer and it was because I couldn't decide what color to make it until I actually started forming the whole card. So I thought guava would be really pretty and I also die cut it out of some mermaid because I'm going to use the little triangle, the little kind of pull arrow there out of the mermaid cardstock. So here is the one out of guava. We're going to fold along the score line in the middle that the die created for us. Then we can add some tape runner all along to the inside of this tab. Now this pull tab piece not only tells the recipient what to do but it also functions as a natural stopper so that that tab doesn't just slide all the way down all the way through the magic picture changer. So now that we have that guava piece on there we're going to add a little liquid glue to the center and then drop in and kind of inlay that die cut there out of the mermaid and I think that looks really really pretty and you can see how it stops the magic picture changer right at the right moment but it's really cool because it also tells the recipient what to do. I thought the bottom was looking a little bit plain, so I die cut another grass piece but made it a little bit shorter, and I just peeled up those elephants, and we're just going to tuck it right under those elephants, and I think that really gives a nice little detail and kind of helps fill out the bottom of the card. Now I should have stamped my sentiment earlier and I was really, really nervous to do this, but thank goodness it worked out. It was like a big sigh of relief. So I stamped the sentiment on there. I heart you rain or shine, which just makes me smile. And now to fill out the scene, we're going to add some clouds. So that little cloud and sunshine there. And we've got some other clouds from butterfly kisses. And we're just going to layer those all around the magic picture changer to help incorporate it into our scene. And now the card is all done and it's so super cute. So you'll see in this one, I actually have the rainbow first and then the cloud second. I just thought it'd be fun to mix it up. And I like that the rainbow is the first thing that you see when the tab's down. And then when you pull it, you see the cloud. So it really goes along with the I heart you rain or shine sentiment of the whole card. Next up, we're creating a gorgeous card by Shari, and this is not a Magic Picture Changer card. So I love that this set works great for normal cards and for Magic Picture Changers. And so here, we've got out a little watercolor pearlized set, and we're gonna create a little sky for our rainbow to sit in on this stitched little circle there. So we're gonna pick up some of that beautiful turquoise sky there, and then just paint it right onto that circle to be this really pretty pearlescent background. Then we'll take one of the darker blues there, add some water, and pick up that paint, but then tap the paintbrush to create these splatters. And I love the look of the two different blues playing together, and those splatters look so gorgeous. So we dried that a little bit, added a few more splatters, and now it's ready to work with. So here we have the unicorn mane pattern paper, which is so pretty because it's got those gorgeous rainbows, which really goes along with this rain or shine set. We're going to trim down a piece there and we've got a cardstock here, standard size five and a half by four and a quarter out of mermaid. And then we use the rainy backdrop out of peacock. We're going to add some liquid glue to the back and then layer that onto the card base. And you're going to see how gorgeous this looks. It's such a beautiful background, not only because it's got the rain on it, but I just feel like it has such great texture and just looks so beautiful. Beautiful. So now that we have our rain on there, we're going to take our rainbow piece and it's really going to go along with the rain or shine theme we have going here. We're going to layer that right into the center of the card. Here we have a stitched scallop frame cut from some guava cardstock. We're going to add a little liquid glue and we can layer our stitch circle right behind there. And that pink is really going to make that cool background that we created earlier pop. Now we're going to add some foam squares on the back of that and then we can layer that right onto the card. And then we can add some foam squares to the back of our cute little rainbow there and layer that right into that circle. And I love how that frames out that cute little scene. And then for some added sparkle and shine, we're going to add some glitter to the clouds and also to the sunshine that peeks out from behind the rainbow. Next, we're going to work with the fancy wavy banners, which is one of my favorite new die sets. And we're going to take out the stitch banner and also the one that creates the frame. So the frame there has been cut from some pixie dust sparkly cardstock. And then we've got our other piece cut out of white. And so we're going to take a sentiment from the wavy sayings. It says, love you lots. And we're going to stamp that in guava ink to coordinate with that cardstock, that scallop circle. And we're going to stamp that right in there. And then we can add some liquid glue to the back of the frame. And the frame perfectly layers over that stitched banner. And you can 
see how gorgeous this looks and how beautiful that little sparkly texture is on there. Now here we have the rain or shine sentiment. We're gonna stamp in some clear sticky embossing ink onto some more guava cardstock. And then we're gonna add some white heat embossing powder to that and heat that up so that we have a nice bright white shiny sentiment on that beautiful guava cardstock, which is one of my favorite pink colors. Once that's nice and shiny and all dry, we can go ahead and take our scissors and trim right around this piece. Then what we're gonna do is add some liquid glue to the back, and then we're gonna use that wavy banner there as a guide as to where we're gonna put this rain or shine. So I love the mix of the two different sentiments there with the one hanging right off of it. It's so cool, just love it. Then we'll add some foam squares to the back of the banner and layer that. So now it says, love you lots, rain or shine, which is so super cute, and this card just makes me smile. Next up, we're recreating a card by Elise. And so we have some distress ink out here. We have some stormy sky and tumbled glass. And I thought that stormy sky would be perfect for our stormy sky. And then we're gonna have the tumbled glass for our rainbow scene. And this cute little Polaroid is from the selfie frame. So we're using the interior pieces of the frames to create our skies here. So our tumbled glass, we're using a foaming blending tool to bring that ink onto the cardstock and then the stormy sky. Then we can add some liquid glue to the back of the frames and layer in the base pieces just like that. And I love how cute these look when you flip it over and you see that beautiful white frame and then that gorgeous blue or bluish gray sky. So now that we have these little frames done, we're gonna be able to put our images on the inside. But first up, we need to give them some rosy cheeks. So we're using some guava ink and we're gonna use the stamp in the stamp set to give them these cute little rosy cheeks on either side of their little smiles there. And then once we've got those rosy cheeks on there, we can start to layer them onto the Polaroids. And these guys are the perfect size for these Polaroids too. So I love being able to mix and match all of these different elements. So we're gonna add the sunshine there on with some foam squares, and we'll do the same thing with the clouds. But first up, we're gonna stamp our little raindrops there under the clouds. So we've cut the clouds there to be a little guide, and then we'll stamp our stormy raindrops. Next up, we're taking out the Spiffy Speckles paper and we're gonna use a bunch of colors from this whole set to create a rainbow of letters. We're gonna be using Finley's ABCs here, but first thing to create our background is we're gonna be using one of the Spiffy Speckles papers here, but that's the white paper with the colored speckles on top. And then we're gonna layer those little Polaroids right on top. And I love that speckle paper because it's just a little extra texture, a little extra something so that the background just isn't plain, but it doesn't add too much so that we can have this really cool sentiment going on there. So we're gonna be stamping after every storm in that clear embossing ink again on some black cardstock. And then we're gonna add some white heat embossing powder right there. And then we can heat that up and we're gonna have after every storm. Now we're gonna be doing one of Elise's awesome tricks and that's taking one of the words from a sentiment and using die cut letters. So we're only gonna be stamping part of it. So you can see there we're only inking up half of the sentiment there because we wanna leave the rainbow part off. So it's gonna say there is a and then we'll do the same thing. We'll add some white heat embossing powder and then we can go ahead and heat that up. Once that sentiment is nice, bright white and shiny, we can go ahead and trim down these pieces here. And so we're just gonna have a little thin border around each one, just using a paper trimmer and some scissors to trim those out. And then we can start to lay those onto the card base and take out our Finley's ABCs, letters cut out in rainbow colors. So we're gonna first put the little top and bottom of the sentiment there as a guide, and then we can start to lay out all of the letters. Then once everything's in place, you can pick up each one and add some liquid glue behind them to glue them onto the card. So there you can see we've added some liquid glue behind, now we've got the eye, and then we'll add the little dot for the eye. And you can see how cute that looks with the rainbow letters and the rainbow colors within the black and white sentiments. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable and so sweet. I just love it so much. Next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And first up, we have a card by Audrey. And look how happy that is with that rainbow paper around it. And then she mixed it with the You Color My World sentiment, which is just gorgeous. This card by Kay is beautiful. I love the little sky and background she created and how she really highlighted that rainbow paper in the background. Here's the card by Elise that inspired us to make our card today. I just love how Letitia lined up all of her rainbows that way and the whole placement on the card and the bow. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. And then this card by Elena is amazing. Look at that beautiful ink sky going from the stormy to the happy sunshiny, just incredible. Nicole made the coolest magic picture changer. She's got her butterfly kisses bunny looking up at those stormy clouds. And then when you pull, you have the awesome rainbow bunny all excited. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? 
And then here's the card by Megan that inspired us to make ours today. This card is so happy and so fun. I love the cute scene and how she combined everything. This set by Lynette is gorgeous. I love that rainbow scallop she created. So beautiful. And then Yanea's layout. Oh my goodness, I love the stacked papers and the rainy backdrop. So gorgeous and beautiful. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with Rain or Shine before and after. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.